Hey guys, thank you for joining me for a new video. Today I was thinking I would tell the story about one of the biggest successes I had selling Halloween themed shirts. And the funny thing is it wasn't even in my own Amazon merch account. It was actually in my mom's Amazon merch account. Now, I'm not gonna lie, she didn't do the research or the design. I did both of those for her. I emailed her the design, which funny story, I sold the same design in my own account. So we're both selling the same design, competing with each other, basically on the same design, same keywords. But she was a lot more successful as far as the sales go and the money generated go. So what I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through my process that landed me on that design. Uh, I can show you how I built it. I can explain why it was so popular. And I can even show you what the design was and how many sales she made and how much money she made as a result of selling it. But I'll give you a hint. She was in tier 10 and she made enough sales to be eligible for tier 500 while still in tier 10. So it's a pretty good story. I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can dive into the story. Thanks again for joining me guys. So I'm gonna be revealing the design that got my mom's account enough sales to get from tier 10 straight to tier 500. However, they do not let you skip tiers. If you guys are wondering, I had someone ask that earlier. Um, to my knowledge, I've never seen it happen. So for instance, my mom's account was eligible for tier 500, but she required two tier ups to get there from 10 to 25, 25 to 100, and then 100, you know, she required three actually. Sorry, didn't think that went through before I said it, but yeah, so you had to go from 10 to 25, 25 to 100, 100 to 500. But the design I'm gonna be showing you sold uh, 93 when I took a screenshot and it probably sold more, I'm not 100% sure, but with 93 sales from that design, plus, I mean, there were nine other designs on her account, they also equated to more than 10 sales, so she was over 100 sales, which should make her eligible for tier 500, and um, I mean, to this day, her account isn't tier 500, because this story I'm referencing is from 2017, actually, so. All right, by the way, before I show you the design, I've got a, a weekly print-on-demand giveaway that you can enter. There's a link in the description right there at the top. It's completely free. We're giving away two print-on-demand mega packs to two lucky winners. So this kind of illustrates that sometimes it only takes one big win, and that can happen in tier 10. I mean, if you can list products on Amazon, you can make life-changing money. Now, we didn't make exactly life-changing money, but keep in mind, this is pretty much all free money since we're just paid out a royalty and we've got really no skin in the game other than time invested. So we got the little tier 10 rookie monster to the tier 500 orange monster. And this was the shirt that took my mom's account straight out of tier 10 very quickly. I mean, it also didn't hurt that she was accepted into Amazon merch in the month of October back in 2017. But uh, this and I don't think this is our exact design. I think we ended up like pulling the shirt down just out of just to be cautious here. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, if you guys don't get the reference, this is in reference to a um, it's like a play on words from a quote from a popular TV show called Game of Thrones. It was really popular until the uh, final season, the eighth season where they absolutely ruined the show. Um, even just thinking about it, having flashbacks to how good that show was up until the final season, and they rushed it out and they made it shorter than it should have been, and it was just awful. So um, went from like a super beloved epic show to just like not good at all and make people regret actually ever watching it. That's how bad the last season was. Anyways, got to stop ranting about that. I got to let it go. Uh, this shirt, again, there was like one of the characters on the show said a girl has no name and... I mean, this wasn't my original idea. Again, I looked at Amazon. There were a couple hundred of these listed and they were selling really well. It was a simple text design. I think the one that I sold had a little like sword going through it vertically or horizontally or something. Um, nothing too fancy though. I mean, a lot of times simple text designs can sell. And real quick, let me give my thoughts on using quotes from TV shows. I'm re-recording this for like the fourth time because I'm like, ugh. I know this can be a point of contention for some people of where everything has to feel like it's an original thought, even though, I mean, the year's 2020. How many original thoughts do you really think are out there that are left? Um, not many. I mean, even based on what's fixed and recorded, think about every book written, every TV show, movie, etc. I mean, like there's so few things that are... Um, original these days. Anyways, I'm gonna read this real quick. I'm not a lawyer. The video is not legal advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You should not listen to some random YouTuber for legal advice unless they are a lawyer. All right, now that I got that out of the way, the disclaimer, um, you know, should you be selling quotes from TV shows? I, I, I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber, right? Uh, in this case, did I sell a quote with a word tweaked? So it wasn't an exact quote? Yes, I did. 
when I listed this for sale, were there hundreds of other people selling basically the exact same thing? Yes, there were. So, I mean, after that is stated, it, does that mean I'm right or wrong? It means neither, right? It's just you have to kind of make your mind up for yourself if you want. You can always pay a lawyer 300 to 400 to 500 dollars an hour and get their personal opinion. Um, clearly, before they can give you an informed opinion, they're gonna have to do research, so it's gonna be multiple hours. And you can do that for every shirt that you think about listing for sale. Uh, and then just start off, you know, a couple hundred bucks in the hole for every single new design you create. Or, you know, you can be careful. And also, if you know it's from a TV show, just don't don't even bother. Just skip it. Go on to the next one. Um, in this case, like, you know, this show specifically, and really any TV show ever. I mean, the the fact that a lot of more people watched this show than others meant that there were more sales, right? But you could, in theory, quote any show ever, and then just tweak a couple words, and then. It's up to a lawyer to, or you know, what do lawyers exist for? You know what I mean? To litigate between someone who is defending themselves and someone who thinks that person did something wrong, right? That's my understanding. Um, so they'd have to eventually make up their mind in courtroom, right? Of like who was right, who was wrong. But at the end of the day, like I don't really sell any quoted TV shows anymore. I'm doing like, I'm using all sunsets and just creating evergreen like basic designs um, these days. But in this case, like. You know, at this point in time on Amazon merch, there were tens of thousands of Game of Thrones related quotes. You know, this wasn't the only quote that people were selling on a shirt. There were ones like, um, that's what I do. I drink and I know things, you know, but they would say like, that's what I do. I, uh, you know, here, I got Piggy right here. They'd say, that's what I do. I love chihuahuas and I know things. You know what I mean? They'd say something like that. And then they just make a million variations of that. And there was tens of thousands of these shirts on Amazon. So as one person, like typically my general advice is do a little bit of market research, look at what is selling on the marketplace, understand that saying, is it okay? Which is a question I see way too often in my Facebook groups. Is this okay? Well, what do you mean, is it okay? First and foremost, just check the market you wanna sell on for that product, if you see it, well, at least the marketplace is letting you list it, but does that mean it's legal? No, it doesn't, it just means the marketplace is letting you list it. Um, could get pulled tomorrow. Um, but at least that's a start. And if you see none, well, to me, that's a huge red flag that people who tried to list it maybe got rejected, right? And especially on Amazon Merch, where we know they're strict. Uh, beyond that, like, is it protected by trademark? Well, go check the trademark database. And then where it gets really tricky is, is it protected by copyright? Because while you know you can understand how copyright works and how the copyright protection is automatically assigned to things like when you speak a quote on a TV show, it's fixed. So you could, in theory, argue that it's you know protected. But at the same time, too, we tweaked it. So the last thing you'd want to do, though, and I'm not trying to defend either side. I mean, as a general rule, especially on Amazon Merch, where they can take your account away, you probably just want to stay away from this. Like we ended up deleting the designs after we got the sales because we were just like, eh, it's not worth the risk. You know, you still keep the money, by the way. So, and, by, and again, anybody that hears me say, oh, you made money off of, no, no, like it was us that did it, plus tens of thousands of other people with tens of thousands of basically the same designs or people doing the exact same thing, just quoting the show. But just real quick to say, like, you don't ever want to reference any TV show, movie, et cetera. Like if you're getting cute and doing a bunch of quotes from, you know, publications that people recognize, uh, the last thing you want to do is like reference that actual movie or TV show or whatever book. Um, you know, just keep it simple. A girl has no costume. Halloween 2017 T-shirt uh, it would be my recommendation if you went this route. But if you don't feel comfortable, then don't bother. You know, I'm not. I'm not doing this these days because I I know my account is worth uh, too much to risk personally. You can also just kind of mix in, in this case, you know, the year 2020 with the masks and whatnot, or just call it a true horror story since this year wasn't that great for a lot of people. And you see a lot of people doing this this year with their clever uh, trend based. If you missed my video from last night, like these shirts, they're not going to be evergreen in the sense that they're not going to sell every year when Halloween rolls around. These are year specific. So chances are however many sales they can make prior to this year's Halloween passing, that's as many sales as they're going to make. Uh, by the way, real quick, I have a free Amazon merch mini course delivered to your inbox over seven days. If you want to check that out, it's free. Link in the description. Also, I've got an Amazon merch Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. Again, link in the description. Just wanted to plug those real quick. Um, also, you've got other people making designs like this where they took two, and again, it's like cross-niching. Like in the shirt I referenced earlier, it was 
a quote from a TV show mixed with Halloween. So it was a good cross niche. Uh, in this case, they're doing, you know, evolution of horror masks. And they've got masks from movies, which, by the way, this one I would never sell personally. Um, because they're literally referencing movies with the graphic. And, uh, yeah, that they're, they're asking for it. That shirt will get pulled. I'm almost sure of it. Um, but anyways, masks plus Halloween is the concept there. Uh, masks plus six feet plus Halloween. Again, here, um, you know, you can tell it's a Halloween shirt. It says Halloween plus they got the pumpkin. Uh, teacher plus Halloween. In this case, they're teaching their uh, little student pumpkins how to put on a mask. So again, good cross niche here. It's 2020 masks, Halloween, and uh, teachers. And then you got another 2020 Halloween design with a pumpkin with a mask and the toilet paper. I mean, it's a little bit overkill here if you ask me. Like, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing this shirt. But uh, either way, <laughs> by the way, if that's your shirt, apologies. It's been it's been crazy. Some of these shirts I've been uh, putting up on the videos lately. I've had people following up like, dude, you found my shirt. Even last night, the uh, the All Sunsets shirt with the 2020 on the pumpkin and the, the curved text. That was actually somebody from my Amazon merch course. So shout out to uh, to Eric. All right, and then one last one before we wrap the video up, the uh, the Karen niche. These Karen niche shirts were selling for months prior to Halloween. And then in Halloween, like when, when we started approaching Halloween, somebody remarketed it as a Halloween costume. And it's like, oh, light bulb. All of a sudden, people who type in Halloween 2020, they see the same thing that was already selling, but they see it, they frame it as something new. You know, wear it as a Halloween costume. It's, it's a... Uh, funny based on 2020 memes and then um, this is I think to me is just like great use of keywords honestly uh, last but not least guys I've got a full Amazon merch course if you want to check that out over 70 lectures full knowledge transfer of how I went from tier 10 to tier 100,000 and got multiple accounts out of tier 10 all right and that's it guys for tonight's video I appreciate you watching till the end if you want to hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you like the video that would be appreciated also if you want to subscribe I would definitely also um, be happy that you took time to hit that big red button. But thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.